If you see these gold baskets at your Dollar Tree, pick up a couple because they are perfect in storage and organization. Not only are these baskets pretty, but they are so versatile. So what I'm gonna do with my baskets is I'm going to take some shower curtain rings. These shower curtain rings are from the Dollar Tree as well, and they've got these pretty beads on them, these clear beads. For a package of 12, it's only $1.25, so that is such a bargain. What I'm gonna do with my shower curtain rings is I'm going to put one on each of the corners of my basket. Now I can take my basket and I can hang it from a wire shelf in my closet. I actually took three of these wire baskets and I added shower curtain rings to the corners and I stuck them together to form a three basket storage system. I hung this in my craft closet because my craft room always needs some organization. First, I put in some craft paints. This is a great way to organize them. You can do it by color, you can do it by size. You can see exactly which paint you need. You can pull it out easily, use it, and put it back. Another thing that you can store in this three basket storage system is some ribbon. I have a whole bunch of ribbon, and this is a great way to store it. I place the ribbon in these baskets. I color coordinated them. These baskets store a decent amount of ribbon and I love that you can see it. Another thing that you can do is take the end of one of the ribbons and pull it through the slots in between the basket. Pull that ribbon through, cut off the piece that you need. You don't even have to take the ribbon out of this basket. If you don't have enough clearance in between your shelves to add a three storage hanging basket, what you can do is just add one. In my bathroom, I have those wire shelves again, and I just had enough clearance to add one basket. So I hooked it onto my shelf, and now I can add in some bath salts and some lotions. This is a great way to take advantage of that shelf space that's high, because a lot of times that's just useless space. They're so convenient, and they keep all of these bathroom items up and out of the way. Have you ever seen those spray can handles that you put over the top of your spray paint to make it easier and more comfortable to spray your paint? Well, don't buy one quite yet. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get your can of spray paint and if you have a leftover WD-40 can with this handle at the top, all you're gonna to wanna to do is swap this handle and put it onto this nozzle. I removed the nozzle from off the can of the WD-40 and I also removed the nozzle from the spray paint and I just swapped them. They fit over the top of each other. So I pressed the WD-40 nozzle over the top of the spray paint. Then we went outside and I got a piece of scrap wood and we're going to do a test for you. Now first you're gonna to wanna to clear it out. So spray a couple of times just to clear out that nozzle and make sure there's no WD-40 in there and now you can spray over the top of your wood. Having the nozzle on the spray paint is also so convenient if you want to do any kind of detail, because when you spray your spray paint, it usually it just goes everywhere, right? But if you wanna have some kind of a control, this nozzle actually helps you to do it. Plus, it's a lot more comfortable to spray the spray paint using this nozzle as opposed to the original nozzle. So before you go out and buy yourself a special handle for your spray paint, Check your can of WD-40. If it has it, swap it and you're good to go. This next hack is actually one that I've never heard of before. It was given to me by my friend, Patty. And what had happened was her husband was out working and he got some tar on his hands and on his clothes and they didn't know what to do to remove it. So they got some sunscreen. Now you've gotta make sure you have sunscreen without zinc oxide in it, but it removed the tar. It also removes sap so if you have sap that falls down and lands on your chairs outside, the sunscreen will remove it. And then the other day she said she was out and about and got gum on the bottom of her shoe. So we're gonna test out this theory. She got gum on her shoe and remembered this hack and so she sprayed some sunscreen on the gum area and it came right off. The gum even came out of the grooves. So I mimicked this and guess what? It did the exact same thing. The sunscreen removed that gum, no problem. She also said that it helps remove stickers. So if you are looking for a way to easily remove sticky things, try some sunscreen. It blew my mind. 
Did you know that you can organize your jewelry with some press and seal? We're gonna take a piece of this press and seal, lay it flat on the counter. I've got a couple of necklaces. I'm going to place them right next to each other and make sure that they are long and straight. Once I have a couple of my necklaces laid out, I'm going to fold the press and seal over the top of these necklaces. Then I'm going to press around them to seal them in place. Now my necklaces will not get tangled when I need to store them. I can shake this around and it won't fall out. This organizational hack is especially great if you are traveling with jewelry. Whenever I travel, my necklaces tend to get all tangled up. So if you're looking for a surefire way to store your jewelry individually, give this hack a try. My Tupperware drawer is constantly needing to be reorganized. It just is a mess. Everything gets stacked on top of each other. We've got lids everywhere. We've got different size bowls. I can barely shut the drawer. So it's time to organize our Tupperware drawer and we are going to do it with a tension rod. Tension rods are so versatile when it comes to organization. So this is going to be used to help organize my drawer. What I'm going to do is empty out my drawer first of all, then I'm gonna take my tension rod and I'm going to size it to the size that will fit inside of my drawer. I'm gonna place it in the front third, I guess the front like quarter of my drawer. I'm gonna make sure that it's pressed in there really tightly. And then I'm going to take my lids and I'm going to place them in between the front of the cabinet and my tension rod. Organizing my lids like that created so much space. Every piece of Tupperware that I took out at the beginning, I am putting back in at the end. And look at how much extra space I have. It's amazing. It's so simple to put everything away. We will definitely be able to keep up putting our lids in this area. And I know by doing that, this drawer will remain organized. Another item that you should scoop up if you see it at your Dollar Tree are these plate organizers. Now, of course, you can use these plate organizers for your plates or your pot and pan lids. You can use them for cutting boards, so many different items in the kitchen. We're gonna use these plate organizers in a very creative and unique way. I got two of these plate organizers and I also picked up some zip ties. Mine are from Walmart, I already had them, but they do have zip ties at the Dollar Tree, so you can get some there. What I'm gonna do with my plate holders is I'm going to put them together and then I'm gonna take some zip ties and I'm going to attach them together. I used a few of these zip ties in the center. And then I clipped off the excess zip tie. Now I have a multi-layered shelf that I can use in so many different ways. I'm going to take some plates. These are some smaller salad plates and I'm going to place them right inside of these shelves. These are perfect for taking advantage of the height in your cabinet. You can stack multiple plates on this makeshift shelf. You could also put some small children's plastic plates in there. I slid this plate shelf into my cabinet and now I'm able to take advantage of the entire height of this cabinet space. The next creative way we're going to use these plate organizers is to, again, turn it to the side and add more zip ties. So I just added a couple more zip ties right in the center. And then I clipped off the excess. Now we have something that resembles a towel holder or even one of those mini fireplace log holders. You know what I'm talking about? But what we're gonna do with mine is I'm gonna take a few washcloths and some hand towels, roll them up and place them in the center of our plate holders. Now I can take my towels and my wash rags and put them underneath the sink in the guest bathroom. This is a great way to keep your rags up off the bottom of the shelf. Now you could make it a little bit prettier. I use black zip ties because that's what I had, but you could get some white ones and that way it would all blend together seamlessly. But I really love the way that this looks and all we had to do was take two plate holders and zip tie them together. You can also use these plate holders to store your 
small handbags or clutches. So I took a few of my purses and I slid them in the slots. This is such a great way to keep these purses upright so they're not all smashed together and stacked on top of each other. You can see exactly which purse you want. It's perfect for accessory organization. Another storage solution for these plate holders is to store your flats, your flip-flops, your sandals, any kind of thin shoe you can take and place in between these slots. Again, it will hold them upright. You can see exactly which shoe you want to grab. It's such a great idea for storage organization in your closet. There are so many uses for a magic eraser. We're going to talk about one of them right now, and it is to use it to help stain your wood. Now I've got a piece of wood and some stain and I took my magic eraser, I dipped it in the stain and then I began to paint on my wood. This was such a great alternative to a paintbrush because it put that stain on that wood very smoothly. There wasn't any drips because that magic eraser absorbed the stain. And then when I needed more stain, all I had to do was squeeze the magic eraser and more stain came out. And then at the end, all I had to do was wipe the excess stain off of the wood. This was such a great alternative to using a paint sponge or a paintbrush. So if you don't have a paintbrush lying around the house and you need to do a quick stain, grab a magic eraser. It's a great alternative. I occasionally get white heat stains on my wood table in our breakfast area. It's bound to happen with a family of six. And a couple years ago, I tried out this hack with a lot of skepticism and it worked beautifully and I've been doing it ever since. What you're gonna wanna do if you have a white heat stain on your table is get an iron and a cloth. You're gonna take this cloth, you're gonna put it over the white heat stain and then you're going to get your iron. You're gonna set your iron to the steam setting. Then you're gonna press your iron over the top of the rag, leave it there for about 10 seconds, and then remove the iron. I don't know the logistics behind how this works, but it pulls those white heat stains out of the table every single time. And every time I'm amazed, it's just, some kind of voodoo. I love it. So if you have a white heat stain on your table, give this hack a try. The vent hood filter in my kitchen was absolutely disgusting and it needed to be washed. I'm going to wash it with some Coca-Cola. So I took a large plastic bin, I put my filter in the bin, and then I poured the two liter bottle of Coca-Cola right over the top. You're going to want to make sure that your vent is submerged in the Coke. Mine kept floating up a little bit, so I got a heavy glass cup and I put it over the top of the vent to make it sink down. After an hour, I pulled it out of the Coca-Cola and then I got a scrub brush and I scrubbed it really well. And I cannot believe how clean this filter is. That Coca-Cola, it dissolved all of that grease and grime. In fact, let's go back to the Coke and look at it. Can you see all those floaties in there? <laughs> so gross. I actually had two of these filters and I only washed one. So I could show you a side-by-side -side comparison of how clean the vent that was put in the Coke is versus our original vent. It's a dramatic difference. So if you're looking for an easy shortcut to clean your vent hood filter, Get a two liter bottle of Coke. It will dissolve the grease and grime and make it look like it's brand new. The Dollar Tree has a huge variety of food containers. So I picked up this one because I really liked the size of it. Now you can obviously store your cereals, your pastas, your flour, your sugar in these containers. That's a great idea. But what we're gonna do with ours is we're going to line it with a plastic Target bag, just a leftover Target bag. I like to reuse these as garbage bags. So I lined this container with this plastic bag and then I put the lid back on. The lid just popped right back on, right over the plastic bag. Now I have something that looks a little bit like this. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take it out to my car and it's going to be my car garbage can. It's small, 
it's convenient. I can slide it under a seat or put it in the back. And it has this little lid. Whoop, you can just pop open, put your garbage in there, close it shut. And now the garbage is put away in the car. You could also use a small garbage can like this and put it next to your sewing machine. When you're sewing, you put all your errant threads and your small scraps of fabric in here. So if you're looking for a small garbage can, this little container is an awesome solution for that. The Dollar Tree also has a huge variety of plastic baskets. I picked up this basket, it's a great size, and it has like a handle that you, you know, a little handle hole right there. And what I'm going to do with my basket is I'm going to store my garbage bags in here. I simply took my garbage bags out of the original packaging I placed it inside of the basket. Then I'm going to take the end of the garbage sack and I'm going to thread it through the handle opening. I can pull the garbage sack through the hole one at a time and it will come out individually. Pretty cool, right? Now we don't have to worry about those aesthetically unpleasing boxes and we can put them in something pretty. And because it only took up, the garbage sack only took up the first half, we still have the second half of the basket that we can put some more kitchen items into. So I took some kitchen spray and some other kitchen cleaning products and I put it at the back of this basket. Once it was all filled up, I took my basket full of my cleaning supplies and my garbage sacks and I placed it underneath my sink. The shoes in my closet can get disorganized in a hurry. And a lot of times I think it's because I just don't have enough storage space for my shoes. So I'm gonna give you a tip of what I do to increase my storage space for my shoes in my closet. You're gonna to wanna to get two tension rods Size them appropriately to the size that you want or need to fit inside your closet. You're going to want them to fit snugly in the area because they are going to be carrying weight. I placed one of my tension rods on the back third and one on the front third. Now I can take my shoes and place them on top of these tension rods. The rods are strong enough and when you press them tightly into place, they'll be able to carry the weight of a few pairs of shoes. And now I can place extra shoes underneath. If you have a large span that you need to cover, you can use a shower curtain rod and just size that to the size that it needs so you can fit into place in the area that you need. And now you have an extra shelf. So if you need some extra storage space in your closet, give this hack a try. The Dollar Tree has these small reading glass containers to store your glasses, obviously. But what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna store some chargers and some wires. All you need to do is coil up your wires and place them inside of these plastic containers. These are so small that you could easily slide them in your purse when you're running out the door and you need to remember to bring your charger. Or if you're in your car, you can easily put it in the glove box or in your briefcase or in a travel bag. This is a great way to store your chargers or your wires or your connectors. <laughs> And not only will you be able to locate these easily, it will prevent your wires and your cords getting tangled up in anything else that's in your backpack or your purse or in your car. I love hosting a party. I did a baby shower a couple weeks back and we did some DIY decorations for that. During the summer, I did a bridal shower and we created a whole bunch of DIYs and decorations for that party. Well, let's be honest, the decorations are fantastic, but I think the food is always the best part of any party. So let me show you a quick hack to get a beautiful party platter. You're gonna wanna get some strawberries and a large chocolate bar. I rinsed off my strawberries and I patted them dry. You want your strawberries to be dry so the chocolate will set on top of it. Then I got a pot of boiling water and I dropped my chocolate bar right into the boiling water. You're gonna to wanna to leave it there for two minutes or until it's completely melted. Then I got some tongs and removed the chocolate from the boiling water. Now all you need to do is snip off the end of the wrapper and you can drizzle that chocolate all over your strawberries. You can use this technique for pretzel rods or cookies or cake. There are so many food items that you could add this chocolate to, and how easy was that? The 
garbage sack in my garbage can inevitably begins to slide down once it gets full of trash. So a while back, I needed to figure out a way to combat this. So what I did was I got some command hooks and I put one about halfway down the garbage can on one side. And then I put a command hook on the other side in the exact same spot. I put these command hooks on the garbage can facing down. And now I can put my garbage sack back into the garbage can and I'm gonna take the ties and put them on the command hooks on either side. So now when my garbage sack fills up, it's not going to slide down back into the garbage can. Everything will stay in place. And when it's full, all I have to do is take those ties off the command hooks and pull the garbage sack out of the garbage can. The majority of the flooring on the main floor in my home is tile, which means I have a whole lot of grout lines and I'm constantly trying to keep them clean. The cleaner that I use has a really pungent smell and I just know it's not good for the family. So I've been looking for an alternative natural cleaning solution to clean my grout lines and I found one. All you're going to need is some hydrogen peroxide and some baking soda. You're going to want to put in equal parts baking soda to hydrogen peroxide. So I got a measuring cup out and I measured one fourth of a cup of baking soda and one fourth of a cup of hydrogen peroxide and put them in a plastic bowl. So I just put it in my bowl and I got a spoon and I mixed it together to create this paste. And then I took it and I spooned it over the top of the grout line. I left this concoction on the grout line for about 20 minutes and then I took a scrubber that has some really firm bristles and I scrubbed those grout lines. Once I was finished, I got a clean rag and I wiped the hydrogen peroxide baking soda mixture off of the grout lines. You guys, I cannot believe how clean these grout lines were. It worked just as well or even better than the harsh cleaner that I've been using for years on my grout lines. There was zero smell, zero fumes, and the grout lines are sparkling clean. So guess what? I know what we're gonna be doing as a family this weekend. We're going to be cleaning all the grout lines in the house with this natural cleaning solution. Speaking of cleaning, do you ever clean something and think that it is clean and you're good to go? Well, I do that with my sink. I get some soap and I spread it around the edges in the bottom of the sink and then I wipe it down, I scrub it really good and I rinse it and it looks clean, right? Well, it's not. And I learned this because I had done this, I had washed my sink, it was clean in my eyes, and then I took a magic eraser and I wiped the sink down with this magic eraser. <laughs> and there was so much grease and grime that came up, it was really gross. And so if you think your sink is clean and you really want it to be clean, grab yourself a magic eraser and wipe it down it will remove the grease and the grime that you didn't see and make your sink really sparkle and shine. Have you ever been to a dinner party or a restaurant and there's a stick of butter on the table and you don't know how much butter you should take? Should I take a lot? Should I take a little? How many people want butter? I don't know. Do they have more butter? And then where's the knife? Is this a knife that's from somebody's plate or did somebody take the butter knife? Like, I don't know. There's a lot of things that could go wrong with a stick of butter. It seems silly, but it's so true. So what we're gonna do is a hack for our butter. You're going to need to take some wax paper. I got about four inches of this wax paper and I folded it in half and then I cut it into strips. Then I took these strips of wax paper, wrapped it around a knife and cut the butter into slices. As you cut the butter and remove the knife, the wax paper will stay in between the pats of butter. So I did this throughout the entire stick of butter. This is a great thing to do at a dinner party because now people can just remove one pat of butter. Sticking with the party theme, I have another hack for a party. When everybody comes over and they have their individual glasses, you can write on them with permanent marker. I know that seems counterintuitive, but trust me on this one, 
take a glass and it has to be a glass glass and write a name on it. So I'm going to write my name on it with this permanent marker and guess what? When the party's over, you can remove this permanent marker with a magic eraser. It came right off. I had no idea a magic eraser could remove permanent marker from glass surfaces. So if you have permanent marker on a glass surface, whether it's glasses like this, a bowl, a frame, anything, you can remove this permanent marker with a magic eraser. Our next hack is going to start off with a pencil organizer. They have a whole bunch of different colors of pencil organizers at the Dollar Tree. What I'm going to do with mine is we're going to store makeup brushes in this pencil organizer. Now I have a medicine cabinet on the wall in my bathroom and there's not a whole lot that you can store in there. So what I'm going to do with my pencil organizer is I'm going to get some Velcro. This is sticky on both sides. I put the Velcro on one side of my pencil holder and then I placed it right inside of my medicine cabinet. These shelves are so thin, but these pencil organizers are also very thin. So they fit perfectly on that shelf. And the adhesive that is on the pencil organizer will keep it from falling out every time I open or close the door of this medicine cabinet. So now that it's in place, all I have to do is take my makeup brushes and slide them into the slots that were meant for pencils. This is a great way to organize these makeup brushes. I can see exactly which one I want to use and they're up and out of the way, easily accessible and so convenient. Speaking of brushes, we are going to store a different kind of brush in a different area in my house. We're going to go back upstairs to my office and craft room. I have a console table up there and I simply pulled out the drawer. I took this pencil holder. The Velcro is still on there, the sticky Velcro. So I just simply put this pencil holder in the front corner of this drawer. And because it has the adhesive on it, it sticks really well to the side. So every time I open and close the door, it's not going to slide out all over the place. Then I took my paint brushes and I put them in the slots meant for pencils. I simply added the various sizes of paint brushes in the slots. And because this pencil holder is angled, I'm still able to shut the drawer with ease. Now I can store and locate the paintbrush that I need for my projects. If you have lost the nozzle to your vacuum or you don't have a nozzle that's thin enough to fit into a small crack or crevice, all you need to do is get an empty paper towel roll or an empty toilet paper roll. Just press the ends together to form a thin slit and then push the other end right into the nozzle on your vacuum. Now you have a makeshift attachment that will help you to vacuum up those hard to reach spots and create an attachment if you didn't have one or if one has been lost. It can be a chore to clean the crown molding or the corners in your rooms. Sometimes you get cobwebs there and you want to get them down, but you don't want to get a ladder and it's not super safe to be standing on top of a chair. So let me show you a hack of how I clean my crown molding and the vents that are on my ceiling. I take my broom and a towel. I lay the towel flat and I place my broom in the center and then I fold the towel around the broom. Next, I take a rubber band and I put it around the towel and the broom to hold it in place. Now I can take my broom with the towel attached to it and wipe down the crown molding in my rooms. This is also great for cleaning those vents because those vents are really hard to reach and they are dirtier than you think they are and they need to be wiped off every now and again. And this is an easy way to do it. You can get it all done in one shot. You don't have to worry about moving chairs around or getting a ladder out. This is a great hack that will help you to keep your house clean. I love using baskets. I'm going to fill them full of a lot of different household items. The first thing I'm going to do is take some toilet paper. We all have just packages of toilet paper all over the place in our bathrooms. And instead of just keeping it in the plastic packaging that it comes in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them to our basket. It's much prettier to store your toilet paper this way as opposed to just leaving it alone. The second thing I'm going to be adding in my baskets are some towels. 
I simply rolled them up and placed them inside of my basket. This basket is the perfect size for towels. I added several of them to this basket. And now that I have my toilet paper and my towels all organized in these baskets, all I have to do is take them to my guest bathroom upstairs and slide them in the cabinets down below the sink. And now when my guests come, everything will be organized, everything is beautiful, and it looks professional. Another area that I struggle to keep organized in my house is our game room. We have toys and books and board games, and they just tend to get just, you know, scattered throughout the room. And so having some baskets to organize things is going to be awesome in that space. So first off, I took some of my books and I placed them inside of this basket. I'm going to store some stuffed animals in my second basket. I've got stuffies all over my house. Many of them are dear members of our family at this point. And so they need to be kept in a place that is easily accessible so my daughter can get them out and play with them anytime she wants, but she can also put them away. So I just added the second basket full of all these stuffed animals. And finally, I put some board games in my third basket. These baskets are a great organization system for this room. Now all of these items are stored beautifully and they look very professional and organized in my space. Another item that the Dollar Tree has are these egg storage containers. I have some storage containers in my fridge that hold more than 12, so I like the larger style of egg containers for the actual storage of my eggs in my fridge, but we're gonna use this to store some jewelry. I know that we all have chunky jewelry that gets tangled up with all of our other necklaces, but what we can do with it now is we can take our chunky chains and the necklaces that have the big baubles on it, and we can put it inside of these little slots meant for eggs in our container. Because of the deep semicircles, you can store some large necklaces or bracelets in here. It will keep them separated from all the other necklaces. This egg container is also perfect to store your jewelry when you're traveling. All you need to do is pop the lid on this and put it in your suitcase. I love using chalkboard signs for parties or for different seasons and holidays because you can personalize them. The problem with using chalkboard signs is when you go to remove the chalk from the sign, a lot of times that chalk stays on there. I can get a wet rag and wipe it off, but you can still see the shadow of what you've written that stays on the chalkboard sign. The way that I remove this extra chalk that you can barely see is with a magic eraser. I scrubbed my chalkboard sign with this magic eraser and the chalk comes right up. So if you have a chalkboard that it has some stubborn chalk on it that just will not come off, get yourself a magic eraser and it will remove that extra chalk. Do you ever look at your kids' toys or your grandkids' toys or your niece or nephew's toys? <laughs> they are just so gross. <laughs> Bless their little hearts. There's fingerprints all over them and like some snacks and all kinds of stuff and they really need to be washed. And then also, what happens if somebody gets sick, you want to make sure that you clean those toys so you're not spreading germs. Well, what I have done in the past is I've taken these toys and I've put them in the dishwasher. That way you can wash all these toys in one fell swoop. Before you put your toys in the dishwasher, you need to assess if it's a sturdy enough toy that can go through a cycle because it is hot, the water will sanitize the toys. So you wanna make sure that they're not gonna warp or melt when you put them in the dishwasher. But this is an easy way that you can clean toys in bulk without having to wash them individually. My boys have a lot of hats and we are always looking to find a way to hang them up or organize them better than just using a hook. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some shower curtain rings that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put these shower rings on the top of a hanger. Then I'm going to take my hats and I'm going to put them through these shower curtain rings. You can fit a whole bunch of hats on one hanger now you can see which hat you need. You can store them easily and they're not gonna get smushed. Plus, they're up and out of the way, hanging nicely, 
in a closet. My purses are on a shelf in my closet. The problem with that is that when I'm in a hurry, I don't know exactly which one I want. And when I put them back, I put them back on top of each other so they can get smushed. Well, I have a purse organizer that is going to fix all of those problems. This purse organizer has some clear pockets on it that you can fit large purses in, you can fit small purses in, you can put two smaller purses into one of these slots. This is a fantastic way to organize all of my purses. And when I'm in a hurry to either put them away or get them out, this is going to be so convenient. Next, we're gonna be doing some hacks with a laundry basket. You don't just have to use these baskets for laundry. There are so many other things that you can put inside of laundry baskets, especially when they're this big. Okay, so now we have our basket. Let's talk about some things that we can put inside. Now, we've got laundry, that's a given. You can put all kinds of other things inside like big bulky blankets or duvet covers. Now I have a feather duvet cover. Actually, I already have one in here and I'm gonna add another one to it. Just kind of have to fold it up nicely. The air will come out, especially if it's a feather one like this. The next thing that you can put inside of your baskets is a wrapping paper. These tall baskets are the perfect size to put in all kinds of wrapping paper. Wrapping paper can be hard to store because it's just such an awkward shape. But putting it inside of this basket will keep it organized and you'll be able to see exactly which wrapping paper you would like. Another tall, awkward thing that you can put inside your baskets is bolts of fabric. I've got these two tall, very awkward bolts of leftover fabric and I never know where to store them, but they can go right in the basket alongside of my wrapping paper. I got a variety of silicone stretch lids from Timu. These lids are amazing because if you happen to lose a lid or if you have a, a bowl or a small plate of food that you want to cover with saran wrap or with aluminum foil, but you don't have any or you just don't want to use that, these stretch lids are amazing because you can put it over the top. It doesn't need to fit perfectly because it's stretchy. So it can go over a variety of different sizes and shape bowls. If you're looking for a very convenient way to store your food, these silicone lids are fantastic. I love using mesh storage organizers for my drawers to store my clothes, but we're gonna use it in a different way today. I'm going to use this mesh organizer for my dishcloths and my dish towels. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rags and I'm going to fold them into thirds and then I'm going to roll them up. Once they were rolled, I placed them in this mesh organizer. I can fit two of these kitchen rags in each of the slots. I fit 20 rags in this particular storage organizer, which is amazing. It doesn't look like there's 20 of them in there because of how beautiful and organized it looks. Now I'm gonna take another organizer and this is going to be used for my dish towels. I'm gonna fold them again and roll them up the benefit of rolling these towels and washcloths is that it creates more space. The problem with that is that they can become unrolled. So by putting them in these organizers, it's gonna hold them in place and keep them from unraveling. Now I've got my washcloths and my kitchen towels all organized. It's time to put them back into this drawer. This is so much better than it was originally. Look at how much space I have left to store anything else I want my rags and my dishcloths are where they need to be. This is a super simple idea. It's a great storage hack. Now let's move on to my closet. This is a space that I constantly need to keep organized. We're gonna start off with my skirts. Do your skirts ever end up looking like this? <laughs> where you stack them on top of a hanger and you stack them on top of each other and it just ends up to look like a mess. These steel pant racks are going to be perfect for pants, of course, but we're gonna use them for my skirts. So what I did was I took my skirts and I folded them and then I just draped them over the steel rods. Each one of these holds five skirts. Once I had all of my skirts on my stainless steel rod, I took them back to my closet and there are two ways that you can hang these up. You can hang them vertically or horizontally. If you have enough space, you can hang them straight across but in order to create more space, which is what we're always trying to do, 
You can drop them down by simply taking one of the sides off. Now I can push all of my skirts to one side. Now I have doubled my storage space. I actually wish I would have gotten more of these. I only got a couple, but next time I will definitely get more because I had extra skirts that I wanted to hang up, but it's okay, I had enough space and so I just hung those right next to it. But now everything's organized, I can see each of my skirts, nothing is thrown on top of each other and it looks clean and cohesive. Another area that can get disorganized really quickly is my earrings. One hack that I love to use is using this Dollar Tree storage wire rack. This is perfect for hanging up your jewelry that have the hooks on it or your hoops. So what I've done was I just took my earrings and I placed them right over the wire slots. This is a cheap, easy way to organize all of your dangly earrings. And then you can also use the top to store something like sunglasses. So this does double duty. If you want to step up your jewelry game just a little bit more than using the Dollar Tree wire rack, you can use this multifunctional jewelry organizer. This thing is so cool. It bends in a whole bunch of different ways. What I'm going to do with my organizer is I'm going to take my earrings and I'm going to place them on the little slots that are on this jewelry organizer. I like to color coordinate my earrings. So I have a row for gold earrings, silver earrings, have my colored earrings on the other side. You can put your hoops in one area. This thing is so cool. One thing I love about this is that you can condense it when you're done. So you just fold it back together. If you have a small space in your closet or in your bathroom where you're trying to store your jewelry, this is a perfect solution for that. My final jewelry hack is to use this Dollar Tree wall mounted wire rack. These are perfect for taking up space that is unusable. For instance, I have this blank wall that's just wasted space. So what I did was I took two of these wall mounted wire organizers and I overlapped them in the center and I just screwed them to the wall. Now I can hang my long necklaces in this area. They won't get tangled up. You can hang them individually, or you can even put a couple of necklaces on each of the hooks. This is a super cheap way to organize your stuff. $1.25 a piece, $2.50 to create this organizer on my back wall, which took advantage of unusable space. Another way that I've used this wall mounted wire organizer is in my kitchen. I have a cabinet that is underneath my stove top and on the side walls is just vacant space. Again, unusable space. So what I did was I screwed these wall mounted wire racks into each of the sides and now I can put my awkward kitchen utensils on them like the potato masher or some big ladles, some large kitchen items that when you go to open the drawers, these are the items that always jam up your drawers. <laughs> well, now they don't jam up the drawers anymore. All I do is I put them on these hooks down below. It's a great way to store them. I can see exactly which utensil I need and it keeps them up and out of the way. On a regular basis, I wear t-shirts and stretchy pants. <laughs> it's true. I love feeling comfortable. I don't dress up every single day. For the most part, I just try and live comfortably. So I have a whole bunch of t-shirts and yoga pants that need to be organized. I'm gonna use some more of these mesh organizers to keep my shirts and pants where they need to be. So I'm gonna take my t-shirts, I'm going to fold them over and then roll them up. Again, rolling them is a great way to save space. And then I put them vertically in my mesh organizers. I can fit four t-shirts per slot. I was able to fit so many t-shirts in this mesh organizer. I fit all of them in there and I even had some extra space in the back to put in some knit dresses. So I folded those up, rolled them and put them in the back few slots. Next, I'm going to take my yoga pants. I'm going to fold them in half and roll them up and put them in these slots as well. I could fit a few of these in each of the slots. I filled up this entire thing with all of my pants. And so at the end, I thought I can put in some swimming suits as well. 
So I folded those up and put some swimming suits in the back few slots. You guys, I can't even tell you how fantastic these are. I can open my drawers now with no problem. I have so much extra space. I can't believe how well organized these are. As you guys know, I love decorating for different holidays and seasons. And one way I love to do it is with ribbon. So I have a whole lot of ribbon that I always am trying to keep organized. So once again, our beautiful tension rod is going to come into play. We're gonna use this to organize our ribbon. So all I did was I took this tension rod and I pushed it through the center of each of the rolls of ribbon. You can put different sizes, different colors, you can organize them differently on your tension rod. You could put this in a closet, you could put it in a cabinet, you could put it in a drawer. There's so many places where you could put this. All you need to do is size it to the size you need so that when you put it into the area, it's nice and snug. And now you have a fantastic way to organize your ribbon. You can see everything. You can roll the ribbon off that you need, cut it, and you don't even have to pull it off the rod. Another area in my closet that needs organization is my shirts. Mine are all jammed together and there is no breathing room whatsoever. I'm going to take my shirts and I'm gonna place them on these storage saving hangers. Just like my skirts, there are two ways that you can hang these. You can hang them vertically or horizontally. So if you have extra space, go ahead and store it straight across. If you want to save some space, just drop it down. It's amazing how much space you can save by using these organizers. I was able to fit so many shirts on these and still have plenty of leftover space for the rest of my shirts. You can also locate the shirt that you need easily, color coordinate it. This is a great space saving feature. If you're looking to gain some more space back in your closet, these space saving clothes hangers are perfect for that. The Dollar Tree has some fantastic baskets there. I found this long shallow one that we're going to use for storage. I'm going to take some of those extra shower curtain rings, the ones that we use to store our hats, and I'm going to put them on each corner of our basket. Now I can add some marshmallows and some chocolate chips inside of the shallow basket, and I'm going to hang it in my pantry on the wire shelves. All I need to do is take these shower curtain rings and put them around the wires and our basket will hang beautifully. This is perfect to take advantage of that space between your shelves, the space you don't really use at the top. You can put some pasta in there. You could put some applesauce or snacks, granola bar, all kinds of things in these shallow baskets. You can easily take things in and out. And all you need for this storage hack is a basket and some shower curtain rings. Big bulky blankets, duvets, pillows, these things can take up a huge chunk of your closet storage space. What I'm gonna do to minimize that is I have a vacuum sealed bag. I placed two large duvets in this bag and then I sealed it shut. I removed the lid I grabbed my vacuum and put it over the hole that's on the bag. I turned on my vacuum and it began to suck out all of the air from the vacuum bag. The bag got thinner and thinner as the air came out. It pressed my duvet covers into a pancake. Once it was completely deflated, I put the lid back on and now I have a fantastic way to store my big bulky items. Look at how thin this is starting out from our big chunky big duvets to where it is now, this is fantastic. I can store it under a bed, I can put it in a closet, I can put them in the attic too because it's sealed. Vacuum bags are a great way to store big bulky items. We have a ton of towels here in the house. It's because we have a big family and we also have a pool, so we have towels all over the place all of the time and I need to be able to store them so what I'm going to do is get this large storage bag and fill it with my towels. I was able to fit 16 towels in this storage bag. I love that it has this see-through spot right here so you can see exactly which color towels are in here, if they're pool towels, if they're bath towels. 
And also they have these handles on it. Look how cool those handles are. So you can pick them up, you can take the towels outside, you can leave them inside, and you don't just have to use these bags for towels. This is perfect for blankets, for big sweaters, for seasonal items like coats that you don't use all year long. And you don't have to guess what's inside because it has this clear window in the front. You're able to see exactly what's in this large storage bag. Taking advantage of the unused space underneath the bed is a great storage idea. I have these large bags that are thin and long. Now, of course, you can put clothes in these, you can put some shoes in this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wrapping paper in there. They have these dividers, so you can either pull them up and use them on top, or you can use them to divide this bag into individual slots. This is the perfect size for wrapping paper. Again, it's got clear parts on these bags so you can get a sneak peek of what's inside without opening up the bag, which is very convenient. In my other bag, I'm going to put in my Cricut vinyl. I have a whole bunch of Cricut vinyl, but it's also a great storage solution for any other kind of crafting items that you may have for scrapbook paper, for scissors, glue, paint, whatever. These storage bags are awesome for any kind of craft organization. Again, it's because you've got those see-through slots that are on the front, so you can see exactly what's inside and pull out what you want. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, then I would love to have you subscribe so I can share this with you. Thank you so much for watching.